the way of Will John. Right now, we, we're very intellectually dominant. Okay? And that means that you know, we live through our, our heads. We, we solve all our, our problems with our intellect. We, come to, we look at all the variables that we understand and we go to solve it. But the problem is that doesn't work because in order to logically solve a problem, you need a lot of information. But if you have a problem like, should I marry Sally or should I marry Susie? Uh, your intellect just isn't going to do you any good there because what you need is a crystal ball that can look at the next 30 years. <laughs> That's what you need. You know? And you just don't have that kind of information. So what happens is our intellect is guessing most of the time but it doesn't have enough information. But now you got something simple like, uh, where are my glasses? Where are my car keys? Uh, you know, am I supposed to pick my uh, wife up uh, tonight at 6 o'clock or 6.30? Okay, now these are things that your intellect is good at. You know, it, it can do these things. Now, your intellect should be giving direction. So it's your intellect that says, maybe I should learn to meditate. That's your intellect. Mm -hmm. Okay, it gives you direction. It helps focus you in, a, in where it is you want to go. But when you get to the actually performance, when you get to the actually doing, then you need to shift into the intuitive side. So let's use that typing example. When you decide who you want to write and what you want to say to them, all right, that's your intellect. But when you sit down at the typewriter and actually type it, that's got to be on the intuitive side. The intellect isn't any good for that. So the stuff that requires... The stuff where you don't have information, like who am I going to marry, because you don't have the crystal ball, well, your, your intuition is a lot better at making those guesses than your intellect. Mostly, your intellect will just get you wadded up into some kind of a, a, you know, a, a cycle, and pretty soon you're so confused, you don't know what the hell to do. You know, you, Your intellect just ends up in a wad of confusion because it doesn't have enough information. Your, your intuition can kind of settle on the thing that seems most probable, that's most likely. It can find that. So what I'm saying is that your intellect is valuable and you need it, but it's a tool. You live your life out of your intuition. You live your life out of, out of a space of knowing and connecting and relating to people, not through the intellect, but just in, a, in an intuitive manner. But... You still need your intellect to find your car keys, and you need your intellect to set your pace. You know, what should you do? Where should you be going? What should you be doing with your life? What kind of career would you like? Well, that's your intellect works on those kinds of things. But then when you get to the doing of it, you know, so when you're sitting back with your team and you're talking about what's our strategy, how are we going to deal with this team X here that we're going to play? Oh, let's look at some of the movies of their past stuff and. Oh, uh, yeah, your intellect, fine. It's gathering all kinds of information. Good for the intellect. But when you actually get on the field, time for the intellect to sit down and be quiet. You, you, need, to, you need to switch into the intuitive mode because you've got, the, you've got the data. So it needs to be both. Unfortunately, in our culture, we're very, very um, intellect dominant. Let's call it left brain, left brain dominant. Whereas the right brain, that part that's more intuitive, we don't pay much attention to that. We say, yeah, okay, that's a, that's a guess. I got a gut hunch. I think this will be, you know, that's my intuition. Well, your, your gut guesses aren't worth a damn. That's not, that's not, that's just guessing. You're talking about right. knowing, not guessing. Doesn't make you a better guesser. You actually know what, what the answer is. And you actually know where that E and that T, T are. You don't have to guess. Not like, well, I, I can't see them, but well, I'm going to guess where they are. Well, then you haven't, you haven't practiced enough. You don't have enough data. Sure. You, need your, you need your intellect to open your eyes and see where they are and practice and practice and practice. But once you practice to the point that you can do it with your intuition, then that's where you work with, hmm. your, with your intuition. And, and it, for all things in life, like uh, one of my, my favorite examples is there was a guy here painting at my house and he was painting a uh, little little woodwork with glass panes in between you know so it was like a lot of little glass panes with woodwork between them now if i had to paint that man i'd need some masking tape and and uh, you know I'd, i would probably get paint all over everything but yeah. this guy didn't use any masking tape he didn't look any tape at all he just got it he hit his brush he did it put his hand he pulled his hand down it was perfect 
Right. Perfect. You know, every molecule of wood had paint on it, and every molecule of glass didn't. And it's like, how do you do that? And um, I talked to his boss, and he says, oh, he just gets in his zone. He says, he, he doesn't yeah. even know we're standing back here talking about him. <laughs> he was yeah. just in his zone, and he could just do that. So you're better at anything, anything complicated, anything that takes a lot of, you know, mechanical skill like muscle you know skill moving your arms and hands anything like that you can do a hundred times better if you do it from the intuitive side uh -huh.